Hey guys, so we're here at Falston High School. We just learned minutes ago that this school, Falston Middle School and Youths Benefit Elementary School will all be closed today as police continue to work to get David Linthicum into custody. Around 7 last night, Linthicum shot another Baltimore County police officer, stole his car and led police on a high speed chase that ended around the Falston Mall. Police say they now have Linthicum pinned in a wooded area near the Falston Mall. They have several streets blocked off in the area, a chopper and drones overhead, all to make sure Linthicum can't run off from the area. Police believe Linthicum is armed with at least one rifle, but they're saying the community is not, um, is there's no threat, excuse me, to the community. This incident is going to be resolved here. Um, he, he will not be getting out of that area. My, my hope and our prayer is that it's in custody. Um, but he'll make that choice um, at this point. And police say they've been working to negotiate with David Linthicum to try to get him to surrender safely. In the meantime, police are asking people around the area of Route 1, Route 152, Old Joppa Road, and Milton Avenue to shelter in place until they get this all resolved. Reporting live, I'm Brianna Ross, WBAL TV 11 News. All right, thanks, Brianna. Turning now to the detective who was hospitalized last night after being shot by Linthicum. Well, 11 News Live Desk anchor Megan Rivers joins us from the newsroom with the latest on his condition. What do you know, Megan? Good morning. Saving the life of that detective is the top priority at shock trauma this morning. Dr. Thomas Scalia telling us earlier today he is on life support, but he is stable. Now, Baltimore County Chief Dennis Delp wasn't able to provide too many details about the shooting, but telling us the detective was wearing a bulletproof vest. Delp says the shooting happened along Warren Road Thursday night. It's unclear who the vehicle investigators say David Lithicum stole belonged to. Dr. Scalia says the injured detective has a long road to recovery. Uh, he came in shocky. We have stabilized him, but he is on life support. He is going to need uh, a significant amount of reconstruction. We are putting our plan together now. Uh, he'll be with us for a while. Well, during this encounter, yeah, like, like that we just said, the chief did mention that a vehicle was stolen. Uh, so we're working to figure out whether it was taken from the detective or for someone else. Uh, County Executive Johnny Olszewski also speaking at shock trauma this morning about this day's long situation that's holding several communities hostages, hostage rather, asking everyone to pray for the detective and his family. As more details become available this morning, we will provide you with those updates on air and online at WBALTV.com. At the 11 News Live Desk, I'm Megan Rivers. Back to you all in the studio. All right, thanks so much, Megan. You can follow updates to this developing story on 11 News and on our WBAL-TV app. We will send you a push alert as new developments break.